we present a new algorithm based on the FAST multipole method for quickly evaluating color and diffusion curve images. A hierarchical lattice structure is defined in the image plane in order to separate the color contribution into a near-field boundary integral component and a far-field series expansion term. After pre-computation, evaluating the color at a point can be done in nearly constant time. Because our algorithm only considers nearby curves in the near-field component, it can rasterize very large images, such as these tiling houses. Additionally, our GPU implementation achieves real-time frame rates for textures of up to a million curves. We also incorporate Gaussian radial basis functions, which we call diffusion points, into our representation. These can be used to approximate any smoothly varying color field because unlike diffusion curves, these points only affect a local region. Our algorithm can easily handle millions of these points. This section shows the projections of different strange attractors onto the image plane. These trajectories were sampled using diffusion points where the color intensity indicates the speed of the trajectory. Each of these images has over a million diffusion points. Our algorithm is fast enough to rasterize animations of diffusion curves and points at runtime. The user can zoom in while the animation is playing. Using the hierarchical lattice structure, we developed several interactive image editing tools. Given target and source images, our algorithm can clone part of the source onto the target seamlessly. This image was computed in a fraction of a second. Here we show more examples of our cloning technique. These images were also computed in less than a second. We devised a tool for compositing images with masks. Given a user-defined region and a smoothness parameter, our algorithm creates a mask out of diffusion points and composites the two images. Both these examples were generated in less than a second. In this example, we show that our composition method can handle diffusion points and multi-layer composition. The layers of lanterns are composited sequentially, causing some lanterns to appear in front of others. We combine all of our tools and techniques in our final picture of a lake. The moon is cloned into the sky. The stars and aurora are represented using diffusion points. And the reflection is hue shifted and composited into the final image. 